And here they come, roaring down to the finish line. Harry Jerome of Vancouver out in front. Harry Jerome, the winner of the men 100 meter final. Harry, how long have you been running competitively? This is my third year, in fact. And uh, the 100 and 200 meters are your specialty? Yes. Harry, this, without a doubt, is the best time. It's the world's record. Harry Jerome was a track and field star. He's a Canadian hero. Harry Jerome was born in Saskatchewan in 1940. When he was 12 years old, his family moved to North Vancouver, British Columbia. He loved to race. So do I. Racing's fun. It's really fun. Harry Jerome was still in high school when he ran 100 meters in 9.9 .9 seconds. But the track officials couldn't believe their eyes. So it was rounded to 10 seconds to match the world record. <laughs> Canadians had great expectations for Harry Jerome. They thought he was a winner. Harry Jerome ran for Canada at the 1960 Olympics in Rome. Suddenly it was in the Olympic Games and I was just out of high school. But he hurt his leg and didn't win. The media went crazy. Reporters criticized Harry for not meeting their unrealistic expectations. So I was scared and somewhat reluctant to communicate with them and uh, they probably thought I was a cocky little kid and maybe I was. Back then, people believed more in negative stereotypes and people were outspoken about their prejudices. Harry wasn't just an athlete. He was a black athlete. The media made sure we all knew that. They were very cruel and it was upsetting. I mean, here they were not only sort of lambasting me, you know, for my performance on the track, but also in some ways, you know, hitting at me personally. Harry Jerome had experienced racism before. When he was a child, his neighbors even tried to force his family out of the area. Racism continued to affect Harry, but he never gave up. At the University of Oregon, his relay team tied the world record. But at the Commonwealth Games in Australia, Harry Jerome had another setback. He ran so hard, the muscle in his leg exploded. He had a big hole in his thigh. The surgeon stitched the torn muscle together. They thought that Harry Jerome would never run again. But he was determined. The newspapers reported that Harry Jerome's return to running 
was the greatest comeback in track and field history. Just two years after his injury, Harry Jerome was at the Olympics in Tokyo. He won a bronze medal for Canada. Altogether, Harry Jerome competed in three Olympic Games. He won the gold in the Commonwealth Games and the Pan American Games. Well, I've always had a goal to run 9.1 for the 100 yards, and I'm glad that I, I finally did it. He was the fastest man on earth. His record of 10 seconds for the 100 meters stood for eight years, from 1960 to 1968. The Harry Jerome International Track Classic takes place every year in Vancouver. It's named in honor of, you guessed it, Harry Jerome. Kids are excited to run on the same track as top athletes from around the world. Being a track and field star, Harry Jerome was also an advocate for human rights. He went on TV shows and met politicians. Once he even formed a large department store to tell them that they should include people of color in their ads. After that, they did. When he was a teacher in Vancouver, he had taught his students that each of us can have a positive influence on others. He also believed that sports isn't always about winning. It could just be about fun. get straight A's and having fun. <laughs> I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. But I do know that I want to have a positive effect on my friends and the world. Just like Harry Jerome. And here they come, roaring down to the finish line. Harry Jerome of Vancouver out in front. Harry Jerome, the winner of the men's 100 meter final.